Hello again. Together with me right now, I have Dr. Savas uh, Parastatidis. He's a senior uh, principal engineer in Alexa Artificial Intelligence Group in Amazon. And previously, he was the co-founder and lead architect at uh, Cortana at Microsoft. Dr. Parastatidis, welcome and thank you for this interview. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, artificial intelligence is all promising to unleash uh, the next wave of uh, digital transformation and disruption. There are many who believe that now is the time more urgent than ever uh, for a complete digital transformation. Artificial intelligence is getting ready for business, but are businesses ready for uh, artificial intelligence? Um, they have to. So, they have to. The uh, the way that uh, uh, artificial intelligence allows us to process large amounts of data or, or technologies related to artificial intelligence, I should say, um, uh, is definitely transformative in, the, in, every, in every area of our, um, of our uh, lives, of our digital lives. And so it is absolutely necessary for businesses to start thinking about how to apply uh, machine learning technologies uh, to um, to process large amount of data, to change the way that they operate, and, and uh, really to just uh, em embrace uh, uh, the future of, uh, of uh, computing. Oh, and uh, how can it actually uh, help businesses in terms of uh, productivity? Can it increase in pr productivity? Uh, absolutely. Uh, any technology that helps businesses uh, uh, process large amounts of uh, data, large amounts of information, uh, any any technology that helps them make decisions faster um, uh, will, will definitely increase productivity. We see this uh, in many in, in many in many industries uh, already, uh, definitely here in the US uh, where um, machine learning uh, has uh, has been applied in, in many fields. We see in the financial sector now uh, decisions are made uh, um, uh, really, really fast uh, um, uh, that involve uh, a, a, a lot of money. You see it in manufacturing where optimization uh, based on uh, the date of what is happening down uh, on the floor, uh, optimization is used uh, to improve the output uh, of, of, of a business. So um, uh, it's, it's, it's been happening for a few decades now with the evolution of computing. This is no different now. It's just a, a, another technology to help us, uh, 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 to help us advance uh, uh, the way we do things, uh, uh, what we do, and so on. Let's come now to the current situation that we all live in, and it's really very unfortunate, about the COVID-19 outburst. How can artificial intelligence uh, can help in such situations, in such crises? Um, what is the role in the current pandemic? Artificial intelligence is, is, uh, is not quite there yet. Uh, um, that's why I always uh, talk about machine learning technologies first. Uh, it's, um, uh, we, we, don't, we haven't built uh, the type of artificial intelligence uh, technology that can uh, help us uh, uh, uncover the next, uh, discover the next uh, uh, drug or the next uh, solution to, to, to a problem. Um, we do have machine learning technologies though that allow us uh, to uh, uh, build uh, software that can make decisions or to analyze, uh, uh, analyze large volumes of data uh, to find patterns and uh, to, to find patterns where a, a human, may, 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 it may be more difficult for a human to discover. So, uh, so, so, so researchers uh, at the major institutions uh, do have these tools available to them. They have been applying, uh, 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 applying data processing technologies uh, at scale for, for uh, a while now, and they will continue to do so. Uh, we are, we are not there yet when it comes to um, to artificial intelligence being in control uh, in uh, and leading the way in discovering new drugs or treatments for uh, for health problems. And um, we all know that AI is also read as IA, uh, meaning uh, intelligent assistance uh, with applied artificial intelligence. 
Uh, is that the future? And how worrying is this in terms of jobs, personal data protection, and how um, the intelligent assistant can use this uh, um, data and also in businesses and all other fields? Um, uh, that's a great question. It's closer to my field. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, like I said before, is just a suite of technologies uh, around, uh, you know, around machine learning. We use machine learning in order to process uh, um, uh, large amounts of data so that we can train uh, systems to automatically understand what we say, what we do, to recognize our gestures, to, gen to recognize uh, where we look in order for them to help us interact with services and information that we want to consume. That is what a, a personal digital assistant is all about these uh, days. Again, we are not building uh, AI that can think for itself, uh, that can make independent decisions, at least not, uh, uh, not, uh, not yet. We are, we are not there uh, yet. So, so it's, uh, uh, so, so, so the way that I see it is that, uh, personal digital assistants today represent uh, a, a promising future for how we can uh, naturally interact uh, with computers, with technology. We can use our voice, our, our gestures, uh, uh, in order to uh, tell uh, technology, tell the computers about what they should do. And, and, um, and, on, and on the reverse side, the, the way that uh, computers communicate with us uh, again, is through voice, is through language, is through screen, uh, through screens, uh, through visual information, and um, and that helps more and more people uh, uh, embrace technology, interact with services that are offered through technology uh, that offered digi digitally, and so uh, so so. For me, that is uh, where we are going. Yes, there are privacy uh, implications, but that's that's normal with uh, with technology, and we're finding ways to ad to address that to ensure that uh, we we always respect our users' privacy. That is a very hopeful meaning and message, uh, Dr. Brastatidis. And uh, we will close with that our uh, interview. Thank you very much for your time and all this useful information that you gave us. But it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.